Hi folks, Jay here at RV Specialist and we got an exciting one for you. We got a brand new floor plan for the 2024 model year with the Coachman Apex Nano. This here is the 221 RLS and this is our first one. It just arrived. We haven't even cleaned it yet, but I just wanted to get it set open here, give you guys a first quick look. Now this floor plan is sort of a modified version of the 213 RDS. So if you have that floor plan or you've looked at it, this is gonna be very close to that with a couple of small changes. Um, lots of the uh, um, similarities between it, you know, size and length, that all is very close. This trailer is about 26 feet long, uh, almost right on the nose. And the, the 213 RLDS is a little bit uh, shorter than that. And then uh, the, um, the weight on it, this trailer weighs roughly, I'm gonna say it's around 150 pounds more. But uh, overall, very similar dimensions. And what they changed on it really is on the inside um, with the uh, seating configuration. But we'll go around the outside here. Of course, this is gonna have the new 2024 features on it. A lot of the same really cool stuff that uh, we featured in some of our other videos. Um, of course, they're gonna come standard now with that gas griddle. You can see that there, and there's the uh, tray for that that mounts on the sidewall. Of course, that connects to the uh, quick disconnect right there. So you can use your propane right from the front uh, tank there. Standard aluminum wheels on the Apex Nano now. Um, this trailer does have uh, the 200 watt solar panel package on it. So that's coming standard with the Apex Nano. Um, it also has the new receiver tabs on the frame. You can see those mounted right there and right there. So that gives you the ability to bolt, bolt up a two inch accessory receiver so you can uh, maybe take some bikes with you or some gear uh, on the back. You can get that uh, set up right there. Coming around the trailer, just give you a quick look at it. Uh, by the way, most of the uh, exterior is pretty much carried over from 23 in the design. I don't think the graphics have changed at all. Uh, so that's all gonna be pretty much the same. Um, one thing they did add for 2024 is going to be this battery disconnect, which is located right there. So that's a nice ad welcome addition. We're very happy about that. Um, so let's take a look on the inside here and see what the main difference is. So the seating configuration is going to be pretty much the main difference. And as we come inside the trailer, you're going to notice that it's actually changed. So it used to be in the 213, the dinette was in the back and there was a sofa in the slide out. And now they have actually reversed that. And I actually think it really makes for a nice alternative. Um, you got feeder style seating here with recliners, very comfortable, really well done seats. And then you actually get a larger dinette in the slide out than what you had here in the back. Um, so I'll come inside and let you get a different angle on this. So this is pretty much gonna be now a pretty standard size booth dinette so you can, fit more people there and it's going to sleep uh, a little bit more accommodate more sizes stuff as far as sleeping than what the smaller one that was in the back on the 213 um, and then if you get a good look at this furniture here for this uh, now you do lose one little storage cabinet on the side here uh, from the 213 but however I feel like it's a pretty um, it's a pretty good trade uh, for the uh, for the theater seats so um, and these are really well done. There's a, uh, some storage in here, cup holders, and the, uh, the new fabric here. So this actually also has the new blue, the casino interior. So you can see the, the blue fabric. We've had some people not sure, because uh, at first when you say blue, they're like, wow, but we're getting them in and the feedback's been really good. So this has the refreshed interior, new flooring, new countertops, new cabinet colors. It's more of a gray tone that they've went to for 2024. Again, I, I, I feel like it's a really welcome change, at least in our opinion. Um, it's a great refresh that they've done. This, is a, this looks like a space um, that is you know, somewhere you'd want to spend a lot, a lot of time in. Um, we're very happy with, uh, with the changes that have been made. So just to give you a good look, and then also this does have the, um, the Bluetooth speaker that's mounted right up here, so that's the new audio. Um, I'm not quite sure that I that if it's just by the eye or not, but I was also thinking that 
Um, it almost seemed like there was a little bit more floor space here, but I'll have to measure that from the 213. But the big change is just going to be the switch of the uh, dinette and uh, sofa area and the ability to pick up those theater seats there. So TV prep is still going to be there. In fact, this cabinetry, if I'm not mistaken, is identical. Um, so pretty much from here back, so like the bathroom, the bedroom, your refrigerator area, all this stuff is going to be identical to the 213. So we can come in here, you can get kind of a look at what the bathroom configuration is and, and all that. And then you get the nice eight cubic um, Dometic uh, 12 volt all electric refrigerator, which is located right here. And then you got that full walk around queen in the private bedroom up front. Very nicely done. Okay. Yeah, very excited about this floor plan. The 213 is our second uh, floor, most best selling floor plan next to the 208 BHS. So the 208 BHS is our number one selling Apex floor plan and then the 213 is our second. However, I feel like this floor plan is going to give it a good run um, once people are in and they can compare them back and forth. There's kind of some advantages both ways. Um, they're both excellent floor plans. They have two seating areas in them. so. You've got the dinette and the sofa or theater seats in this case and in, in both floor plans. So that's something that a lot of people really like um, is the ability to have two seating areas and the private bedroom, full walk around queen up front. Um, let's take a quick look too at the uh, door sticker on this and just see what the specifications are uh, before we go. So you can see this right here. This is uh, dry weight of this trailer as it came out of the factory is 4225 and they are calling the length right at 26 feet. So this is going to be very similar to the 213 uh, as far as specs goes. Not a lot of change there. And you know a lot of people this is very towable with a you know a, a much smaller vehicle than some of the other trailers would require. Um, and you still got a nice couples coach that you can take down the road and have a lot of space and all the amenities with it that come with this. And of course, all the Coachman Apex trailers are built with the Asdale composite sidewall, and this is improved for this year. So you've got thicker uh, Asdale <clears throat> components on the sidewall there, uh, which is just great. That's also something that I think is very, um, very good about the Coachman. Actually, all the Coachman laminated products use Asdale. So that's, I think that really gives them a, a great competitive edge compared to a lot of other brands out there. And with our manufacturing background, you know, we look at it a little bit different than maybe some other dealers do. We kind of have seen <clears throat> the, uh, the uh, side of, of the manufacturing benefits of this. And then on the service side, I'm sure a lot of dealers could also say that they have seen a lot of really nice trailers come in with, you know, with, let's say water damage, a seal got away from them and got in the sidewall and uh, cause some delamination, uh, breakdown of the Luan board in behind the fiberglass, where a trailer that's made out of Asdale, you're just not gonna have that. So in fact, there's no wood in the sidewall of this trailer, it's all aluminum framing, uh, and then it's the composite sidewall uh, substrates on the inside layer and the outside layer, and then it has a full foam insulation. So very well built, these trailers are built to last, um, and that Asdale is such an improvement in the RV industry, I feel. so. Anyhow, we will probably do a more in-depth video on this to come, but just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the 221 uh, RLS from Coachman Apex. Uh, this is the Nano for 2024. Thank you so much, and if you guys want more information on this, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you can call RV Specialist at our number is 574-538-3700, or you can shoot me an email at j at rvspecialistgoshen.com. That's J-A-Y at RVSpecialistGoshen.com. And if you guys want to get a great deal, if you want the best deal on a new 2024 Coachman Apex, uh, you're going to find it at RV Specialist. Thank you so much and have a great day.